Ate for firing my vet after the way the nurse spoke to me. I 29F pay $35 a month for an insurance plan for my cat 2F. This includes a basic checkup every 6 months. Her appointment was scheduled for today at 12 p.m. While I was waiting to check her in, it was me, one guy in front of me, and the girl at the front desk. A nurse came out from the back and told the girl at the front desk, hey, just a heads up, everybody went on their lunch break, just so you know. My cat has anxiety, so when I booked her appointment, they assured me she'd be in out. So I said, I, if no one is here, should I wait to come back later to drop my cat off? The nurse shot daggers at me and said bluntly this conversation doesn't concern you. I was kinda in shock, because I didn't think I'd asked anything too crazy. I said, I'm just confused, since I don't wanna drop her off if she's just gonna sit in a room. The nurse said we were having a separate conversation. She'll be fine. I have pretty bad anxiety myself and wasn't here to argue, just to advocate for my cat. So I meekly said okay and I figured that was that. Well, this nurse gives me an up down look, turns around and walks into the back. The door hadn't even swung shut yet and I could hear her trashing me to the other nurses. She's laughing saying you guys, there's this crazy lady at the front with her cat and then the door swung closed. This is where I might be TA because I shut down and told the girl checking me in. I'm not letting my cat go back there, unless that person is not in the room, or if I can go back there with my cat. If she talks to me like that, how am I supposed to trust her to give the best care for my cat, who can't speak up for herself? I also said I wanted to make a complaint. I asked for a business card for a manager. The front desk girl gave me a card and I called a number, the front desk rang. She put it on hold and looked sheepish. I asked if this was the number for the manager, or for the store. She admitted it was for the store. At this point my cat is howling in her carrier. We'd driven all this way, and she was so shaken up, so, sunken cost fallacy, I said I'd stay for the apt if I could come in the room with her make sure she was safe. The front desk girl finally admitted well no one is here, they're at lunch, so it would be at least an hour. So the nurse had been lying about my cat being taken care of, all along. I didn't want to argue anymore, so I said I wanted to reschedule for a time I could be in the room. She booked me for next week. Afterwards, I called my mom, and she told me I definitely shouldn't go back, but I also shouldn't have threatened to make a complaint to the manager and be a Karen. So I'm planning to call back this week and cancel my appointment and my insurance, and take my business elsewhere. I think I was sticking up for my baby, but I could just be a crazy cat lady causing issues when I could have just left. So Ata? Edit cat tax edit 2 Whoa this blow up thank you to everyone for your supportive comments about my kitty. An extra thank you to everyone sharing personal stories and pointed advice I will not be going back to Banfield. Ever. And I will lodge a complaint with corporate on Monday. I will try to respond to comments with specific questions if I can. Thank you again. You've all made me feel much less crazy and I'm gonna talk to my mom about the Karen comment. Not cool. Mama other than that though. She's an incredible mom, and she's my kitty's too fan right after me.